Welcome again, everybody, to another episode of Pixel Craft Spotlight. Today, we have perler artist Pixel Fusion Portraits, aka Cornelius Belmont. Let's hear it for him. Hmm, not quite the reception I was expecting. Oops, wrong switch. Maybe it's this one. Eh, good enough. There's so much illusion breaking right now, I could just... I could just... Relax, Isaac. We needed to show our new behind-the-scenes set anyway. And thanks to Pixel Fusion for designing these new sets for us. Why don't you come on out, Cornelius? No, no, no. Hold on a second here. All this fourth wall breaking is getting out of hand. Now everyone knows we don't have a studio audience. Well, I mean, Sherry and I are in the studio, eh? And we're watching, so it kind of makes us a studio audience. Right, Sherry? Ahem. <clears throat> huh? Oh, yeah, you have my undivided attention. See? Everything's fine. Welcome back. In a little bit, we have a musical guest I'm very excited about. One of my absolute favorite chiptune musicians. Watch out for snakes. But let's welcome our first guest, Pixel Fusion Portraits. Good to have you on, Cornelius. Hi there, guys, and thank you for having me on the show. Well, as we generally do, let's begin with asking you what your favorite game is. That's a good question, and I can't really just pick one. Like with most people, though, it probably comes down to nostalgia. I think I might have to go with A Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past. It's a game that I played as a kid with a good friend of mine. I'm also going to have to say Final Fantasy VI on the SNES. The 16-bit era will always hold a special spot in my heart. There are a few other games in this area too I'd like to name drop. Specifically Chrono Trigger, Mega Man X, and Secret of Mana. I love Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past. What's your most favorite project that you've ever worked on? I've got two things I'd like to bring up. First would be my frame, Hero of Climb. It's an 11 by 14 inch piece and features a Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. This one I converted manually from screenshots and ended up adding a few extra elements to it to really express the game. Specifically, I added a Sheikah Tower, Travelers on the Road, and a Korok puzzle. Beyond any one piece that I've done though, I'd like to talk about my larger accomplishment of my business, Pixel Fusion Portraits. Like some of your other guests, I was also interested in selling at conventions. But with COVID-19 in 2020, that sort of stunted the whole process. As such, I've been adapting into YouTube videos in order to do game theories. Hopefully, with a combination of YouTube videos and beat work, I'll be able to fully support myself. The layered brothers really impressed me. I just never see that. But, uh, what are you working on next? And what's in store for the future? Right now I'm working on a piece from Machora's Mask. But beyond any one specific piece, like I said earlier, my big focus is the YouTube channel. I'm mainly going to focus on it until conventions pick back up. Though commissions are always open, of course. Also, working on these sets with you guys has made me think, maybe there's some graphic design work I can do. After all, with our current state of events, every little bit counts. Well, thank you so much, Cornelius, for being on the show. And thanks again for the sweet background sets. Thanks again for having me on the show. If you guys need any more artwork for it, just let me know and I'll help you out. Okay, well, without further ado, let's welcome our next guest. Performing Fight Those Invisible Ninjas. Ladies and gentlemen, watch out for snakes. <laughs>
Wow, that was awesome. But um, how are you doing that? Uh, I, I, I don't know. Uh, could somebody get me down? Uh, so anyway, thanks everyone for tuning in. Thanks so much to our guest Pixel Fusion Portraits, and watch out for snakes. Thank you everybody for watching, and we'll see you next time on the next episode of Pixel Craft Spotlight.